Hello learners! Good day! Here I am, once again, your TLE Beauty Care Teacher, Ma'am Trisha Maysoy Baguio of Laak National High School, Laak South District. And today is a great day to learn another interesting topic in Grade 7 TLE Exploratory Course, Beauty Care Nail Care Service. Are you excited to learn something new? Then, what are you waiting for? Grab your module and stay tuned as we tackle the nail structure, nail shapes, and the nail trimming procedure. At the end of this program, you are expected to distinguish the parts of a nail structure, identify the basic nail shapes, and Perform nail trimmings based on the selected nail shape. Have fun and hope you will experience meaningful learning. Let's begin! Did you know that the main use of nail is to protect the fingers and toes? And it really assists in our certain physical activities in daily life. In addition, Nails, specifically our fingernails, grow an average of 3.5 millimeters per month and have no feelings. Is it amazing? Yeah! And to add more relevant and fascinating information about our nails, let us distinguish the parts of a nail structure. There are seven parts of a nail structure. We have lonyola, cuticle, nail plate, matrix, and we have nail bed, nail walls, and nail plate. Let us describe each part and find out where the parts located through this illustration. Lunyola, the pearly colored and crescent shaped area of a fingernail or two nail. Look at the illustration on the screen where Lunyola is located. And take a look at your fingernails. Have you seen your Lunyola? Very good. We have here the cuticle. Cuticle is the overlapping epidermis around the nail or the transparent skin which is removed during the manicuring process. Let's take a look at the picture to see where cuticle is located. Have you seen it? Very good! Let's proceed to nail plate. Nail plate is the visible nail that rests on the nail bed. This is made up of dead cells and composed of a minimum amount of water. Look at the picture to see where nail plate located. Have you seen it? Now, feel free to touch the nail plate of your fingernails. Is it smooth? Yes, it should be smooth. Our next part is the free edge. Free edge is the part of the nail that can be filed and shaped. It is an extension of the nail plate. Now, look at the illustration to locate where free edge is. How long is your free edge? I hope it's not too long. Just remember, trim regularly your nails. The next part is nail bed. Nail bed is part of the nail where nail plate rests on. It is also the continuation of the matrix and it is abundantly supplied 
with blood vessels and nerves. Let's find out where nail bed is located through the picture. This time, look at your own fingers. Examine its nail bed through your eyes. Is it pinkish in color? If yes, then congratulations! Your nails are healthy. The sixth part is nail walls. It is the fold of the skin that overlap the sides of the nail. They hold your nail in place and protect the nail plate edges. Let us look again the picture of the nail structure to see where nail walls located. There it is! Hope you got it! For our last part, we have matrix. The part of the nail situated directly beneath the cuticle. It produces the cells that became the nail plate. Look at the illustration to determine where matrix is located. There you got it! Let us take a look once again the seven parts of the nail. Lunyola, nail plate, cuticle, free edge, and we have nail bed, nail walls, and matrix. Very good, students! A fast learners indeed! Still eager to learn more? Stretch your hands, be ready, and buckle up because another interesting topic is on your way. It is now time to discover the various nail shapes. With that, let's try to see if your nail shape conforms to your fingertip. To start with, we have oval. This is common among people with long, perfect nail beds. It may be styled slightly rounded at the base and slightly pointed at the fingertips. Look at the picture to familiarize it. Second would be round, ideal for shorter nails. The nail is allowed to grow out straight at the sides for approximately 1.5 millimeter. And then the tip is filed into a rounded shape. Are your fingernails look like this? Very nice! Take a look on the third one. We have stiletto or pointed. Filed away at the sides to a point at the tip. This shape is very weak at the side of the nail, which provide the strength are totally lost. Do you like your nails to be like this? The fourth one is scoval. Scoval is similar to the above, but followed by squaring off the tip, giving the nail tip strength over the oval shape. And for the last one, we have square. Square is the most popular among the nail shapes. It is created by allowing the nail to grow out straight and then filing the tip straight across at right angles with the rest of the nail plate. Try to take a closer look on your nails. Have you figured out what type it is? Is it oval? Round? Pointed? Or is it scoval or square? Very nice! So there you got it, students! The five basic nail shapes. This time, let's check if you're already familiar 
with the parts of a nail structure and the five basic nail shapes by answering the following activities. Please listen to the instruction. In your study notebook, draw the first picture flashed on your screen and identify the parts of a nail structure. Number two, observe the second picture and name the five basic nail shapes. Let's start! Is up my dear students let us reveal the correct answers and please check honestly your work for the first picture we have here the parts of a nail structure lignola cuticle nail plate free edge nail bed, nail walls, and matrix. For the second picture, the answers are oval, round, pointed, scoval, and the last one is square. I will give three finger heart for those who got perfect. One, two, and three. Congratulations! For your additional activity, turn your module to page 11 and 12. There, you can see the procedure on how to trim your nails or refer to the screen presentation. Nail Trimming Procedure Step 1. Prepare the types of instruments for this task. Nail Cutter, who has small or medium slightly curved blades, which are suitable for trimming the fingernails. Nail cutters with straight blades are suitable for use. Step 2. Before using your nail cutter, make sure that it is clean. Wash your nail cutter to remove dust and germs, especially when you are sharing your nail cutter with someone else. Dry it thoroughly after washing it. Step 3. Wash your hands. Wipe them dry with any towel or tissue paper. This process cleans your fingernails and helps soften them, making them easier to cut. Step 4. You must cut your nails in a place where you can clearly see what you are doing. Have a small receptacle ready so you can collect the trimmed nails. Step 5. Decide the shape of your nails. Decide which shape you actually want. After deciding, Lift the nail cutter and start cutting your nails. Step 6. Start cutting your nails starting from your little finger. Step 7. Make at least 2 or 3 cuts of a fingernail until everything is snug. Follow the curve of the nail to get a clean cut. Check skin flaps after each cut and remove them carefully. Step 8. Sit comfortably and crouch your knee side to easily reach up and see the nails clearly. Be sure not to set up deep razor to prevent scratches. Adjust the position of razor if you feel any discomfort. Step 9. After cutting your nails, use a nail file to smooth any rough and add surface on your nails. When you file, do it on tilt from the corner of the nail to go down. Step 10. Apply some moisturizer on your hands to keep the cuticles moisturized and smooth. 
There you get it, class! The step-by-step -step procedure on how to trim your nails. For your assignment, ask any family member or anybody at home that could be a model in nail cutting or trimming. Cut or trim fingernails and two nails following the correct procedures given. Ask somebody to record or picture your performance before, during, and after to be used as MOVs. Observe safety and proper hygiene at work. And you may refer to your module from time to time for you to be guided. See you next time! Hope! You have learned something essential today. Once again, I am your grade 7 TLE Beauty Care teacher, Trisha May Bagtas Suaybagyo of Laak National High School, Laak South District. Saying, Tito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!